Now, brother, some of you do not know Urdu, so I'll translate. Garmiya ilm, you know, with the power of knowledge, eh? with the intensity of knowledge. Eh? Ya Allah, make my every breath a very special breath. Every breath I take should be meaningful, should have a purpose. It should be the best breath of mine, you know. And then, Ya Rab, is khaka ke zarreku. Oh Allah, I am only a speck of dust. Who am I? I want, I am only a speck of dust. And with your mercy and grace, please make me a star. Please make me a star. Not a Hollywood star, brother. Not a Bollywood star. Those are disasters. Those people are, I should say, misfortune, fortunate people. Because outside they may seem happy, inside they are the most disturbed people in this world. Okay? May Allah should not lead us to that path, you know, to us or to our children, you know. So, a star means, you know, somebody who is extremely pious, who guides others, okay, and who will always be near Allah. Okay, Mukarrabin. Okay. And then the next line, brother. Ilmuho Shamma to me Shamma ka parvana banu. If uh, the ilm is a nur, and ilm is nur, uh, al ilmu nurun. Uh, Muktada khabar. Al ilmu Muktada, what is the khabar? Nurun. Uh, Ilm ho shamma, to the me shamma ka parwana ban, that I should become parwana. That is a very sweet word. What is the English translation? Not so sweet. <laughs> what is the English translation, brother? What? But in, in, in poetry, you know, parwana is the insect that sacrifices itself to the light, in achieving the light. Whenever there is a light, it goes there. Okay? So, Ya Allah, <coughs> if the ilm, the knowledge is a shamma, if it is a nur, let me become a parwana of that shamma. Ashak. Ilm ho shamma to me, shamma ka parwana banu. Mera ustad wo saki to mein paimana banu. If my ustad is saki, you know who's the saki? He pours. When you go to Saudi Arabia, any office, that person will come and pour you coffee in little... <laughs> okay? So if my ustad is the saki, then let me become the vessel in which I receive the ilm. You know? Okay, brother? So we... You know, should always strive to achieve and acquire knowledge. And then there is another poet, poem, a very, very beautiful poem by Alama Iqbal. Most of those who know Urdu, they, they know it, you know. Alama Iqbal is one of the greatest philosophers of 20th century. Okay? And he wrote a beautiful, beautiful dua okay, in the form of a poetry. Now, it Children usually sing it, but the meaning is applicable to everybody, brother. Hmm? And he says, you know, Lape aati hai dua banke tamanna meri Lape aati hai dua A dua comes to my lips. But in what form? Banke tamanna What is tamanna? An intense desire. Huh? Intense desire, you know, that is called tamanna. It's an Arabic word. Okay, we will be studying in book three. Lapeati hedua banke tamanna meri. What is that desire? Zindagi, my life. Zindagi, shamma ke surat ho, hodaya meri. That, Ya Allah, let my life be like a light, like a noor. So wherever I go, I dispel darkness. I dispel injustice. 
and I enlighten people. I do good deeds so that there's uh, happiness and prosperity and tranquility among masses, you know. Zindagi ho meri parwane ki surat ya rab. Now he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, give me a life of a parwana. Huh? What does the parwana do? Sacrifice himself, achieving that light. Huh? Zindagi ho meri parwane ki surat ya rab. Ilm ki shamma se ho mujko mohabbat ya rab. Oh Allah, give, make my life that I always love ilm. I always love acquiring ilm. Make me a parwana of ilm. Parwana of shamma of ilm. Let me write down parwana, brother. Parwana. Okay, this is Urdu, brother, Parwana. Okay, now I tell you something. Many people don't understand this. Huh? And I, when we were children, we did not understand. So our Ustad gave us an example. He said, Parwana is the uh, insect which whenever he sees light, whenever he sees ilm, he goes there and tries to achieve the light and in that process he sacrifices himself. Okay. So, he said, you know, the, all the time poets talk about parvana. Nothing else but parvana and shamma. Okay? So, one of the uh, mosquito, what do we call mosquito? Machar. What do we call it? Machar. He became very jealous. He said, what is this? Uh, I am also a creation of God. The poets never miss... Mention me all the time, parwana, parwana. Eh? Let me find out what they do. That they are praised by all the poets. And nobody even mentions me. And I'm also here. Okay? So he goes to the colony of parwanas. Okay? But then in order to go into the colony of parwana, he has to put on a dress of parwana. He, he puts on the garb of parwana. And goes into the colony and says, brothers, I've come from a different village and I'll spend a couple of days here and then I'll go back. The, all the parvana says, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. Huh? Come, relax here, eat whatever you want to. Okay. And when the evening came, and when the lights went on, okay, all the parvanas went out of their colonies to acquire light and in the process sacrifice themselves. So they said to this new Parvana who was originally a Machar, he said, come brother, the lights are on. Let's go. Let's acquire that light. Okay? Now that Machar understood why they are going, they are going to kill themselves there. You know? And so he understood the reason uh, why all the poets are always talking about Parvana? Because they show an intense love and desire to acquire Noor, you know. So when he was asked, Chalo, Chalo, let's go. What was the answer? I got some very important work. You carry on. I'll follow you later. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So now the thing is, who are we? Are we Parvana? <laughs> Are we Machar? <laughs> the ilm is here. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The ilm is here. Are you a mosquito? Huh? What will mosquito say? I'll do tomorrow. I'll do my homework tomorrow. <laughs> there is still a lot of time. What will Parvana say? No, I will do it now. I will do it now. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Okay. So this is a, a short thing. You know, I thought when we were taught in the school these things, you know, it made a, it made a great impact on our, uh, you know, lives. You know, and we, we, we try to become very serious about it. 
And then some people make it a joke. I told this, I tell this story everywhere I go. And I sing everywhere I go. So I was teaching a class in Lahore. You know, all adult class. Huh? Huh? So here I told them this story. And the, when the class started at 8.30, everybody came. But a couple of people didn't come, you know. And these boys were very mischievous. They used to make fun of their friends only. Huh? Then uh, uh, the brother Umar is coming a little late. Brother Asif, I said, yes, brother, what is it? Machar is coming. <laughs> I said, brother, that's not fair. <laughs> he, <laughs> he came late, so he became a machar. <laughs> so, you know, I said, don't do that. That's not fair. But, you know, it made sense to them that you have to be a parvana. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, inshallah, brothers and sisters, we will do it. Huh? I give you one example of another student of mine. Now that student is a teacher. She's a brilliant teacher. Huh? She teaches in rich man. When she started learning Arabic, in the, that was my first class. Huh? And, uh, and she was so dedicated and meticulous. She, she has three grown-up daughters, all university students, her husband. Busy woman, she has her own job. And whenever I checked her homework, her homework was up to date. Her writing was like pearls, a moti. Huh? So, so beautiful, you know. <coughs> so I said, uh, Sister Khalida, you do so much, you know, homework, mashallah, mashallah, you know. Uh, but when do you do it? When do you do your homework? I am curious to know, because you are a very busy woman. He said, Brother Asif, when we finish our class, I go home. And I do not sleep till I finish my homework. Because I, I know that if I didn't do it now, tomorrow I may not get time. Uh, can, you, can you imagine the, 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 the love and the uh, desire to excel? Same night she will do her homework and she will not go to bed till she finished it. Uh, and she was the best student and today she's one of the best teachers brothers and sisters so you know if we want we can do it it's in our hands brothers and sisters now this is a beautiful opportunity that has come in your lap you want to grab it like a parwana or you want to put it off like some like unparwana <laughs> are you with me so, Alhamdulillah, I hope that my little talk will inshallah motivate you and you will remember the responsibility. Allah has given a responsibility. Allah has bestowed on us a deen of Islam. That's a big responsibility. How do we fulfill it? First, we acquire knowledge and then we pass on the knowledge to others. And inshallah, may Allah make us successful in our mission, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. I hope I did not bore you with my talk. Huh? Okay, something uh, that you will remember, inshallah. Now, number five, we do, brothers and sisters. Do you see there? Al Baitu. What is Al Baitu? Marfu. Huh? What is Al Baitu? Marfu. What is Fil Baiti? Jar Majru. What is Min Al Baiti? Jar Majru. What is Il Al Baiti? Why did Baiti become Majru? Because of Harfcha. Harfcha. So we know that. Huh? Now comes Mustashfa. Brothers and sisters, tell me where is the Fatah? Is it on the last Kalima or one before last? One before last. Huh? What is the last Kalima? It is a Ya. Without doubt, remember there is no doubt, it is Ya, but it is pronounced as Alif. It's called Alif Maksura. Chota Alif. Tingu Alif. <coughs> Are you with me? Do you understand me? Tingu Alif? <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> okay. Al Mustashfa. The actual meaning of the word. Hospital, brother. Oh. Uh, hospital. Mustashfa. It does not show its vowel signs. When it, when it declines, it does decline. Uh, it does become Majroor. 
It does become marfu, but it does not show the vowel sign. The mustashwa is also one form. But later on, we will try to understand uh, how we describe it in the Arabic grammar when we do analysis. Huh? We'll learn that in book three. Okay? So mustashfa, and you say fil mustashfa. Huh? And then minal mustashfa. Huh? Because the fatah is on fa, there is a ya coming after that. And ilal mustashfa. Now amrika, same thing. Amrika, fi amrika, no al, huh? Min Amerika, ila Amerika. Almania. See that Hamza? That is Hamzatul Qata. Huh? It is a part of the noun. Huh? Almania, fi Almania, minal Almania, ilal Almania. Okay. Canada. What is it, brother? Canada, fi Canada, min Canada, ila Canada. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, ikra waktu, read and write. Hada tabibu min inkaltarra, min inkaltarra. Okay, so bada hada muftada, tabib badal. Min in kaltarra, jar maju, shibu jumla khabar. Zahaba hamidun, oh ho ho. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla failure. What are we looking? Fiel and file. Where is the fiel? Zahaba. Where is the file? Hami dun dun. Hami dun. Because file is always marfu. Ila faransa. What is it? Faransa, what is that? France. France huh? Okay. Ila Faransa, it's only Jar Majru. We don't say anything more. Okay. Mahmudun Maridun. Mahmud Muftada Marid Khabar. Hua. What is Hua, brother? Muftada. What is the next word? Al Ana. Brother Hassan, what is Al Ana? What is the meaning of Al Ana? Now. So what is it? Zarf. What kind of a zarf is it? That was Zaman, because it indicates time. Al-A-Na, huh? it's mansub. Al-A-Na, put a fatah on the noon. Al-A-Na. Huh? And remember, brothers and sisters, that Hamza is <coughs> Hamzatul Wasal. What does Al-A-Na mean? Now. now. N-O-W. Huh? Now, and what is it, brother? It is zarf. And if I go in further detail, I will say zarfu, zama, nin. What did I write? Mudaf, mudafili. Zarfu, zama, nin. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Fine. Okay, who are Muftada al Ana it's Zarf? Where is the Khabar? Fil Mustashfa. Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Zahaba Abdullahi. Zahaba Abdullahi. What is Zahaba? Fial. Where is the file? What is where is the file? Abdu only, brother. File is always marfu. Abdu is your file. Wa huwa mudaf. And Allah is mudafili. That is the way we describe. If you say Abdullah is file, no, 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 no. Then our understanding is not perfect. Abdu is the file. Because file is always marfu. And then it became mudaf. And where is mudafili? Allahi. Allahi. Okay? Min Almania, Jar Majur, Ila in Kaltarra, Jar Majur. Hazal Kitabu, Hazal Kitabu, Hazal Kitabu, Haza, Muftada, Al Kitabu, Badal. Li Isa, Li 
यही सा अरे विद मी जार मजू शुभ जुमला खबर वजाल किताब ले मूसा सी इन ऑल्सो डू वी डोंट सी दॉल साइंस ऐसा एंड ली मूसा यू वोट सी वॉल साइंस या बिकॉज इट एंड विद अलिफ मकसूरा ओके हाजल मोहंदिसु हाजल मोहंदिसु मिन अमरीका सो हाजा मुफ्तदा अल मोहंदिसु बदल मिन अमरीका जार मजरू शिबू जुमला खबर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स इकरा वक्त यू शुड राइट दिस ऑल्सो इवन दो इट डजेंट से वक्त बट यू शुड राइट ऑल्सो असबूरा तू वॉट इज असबूरा तू ब्लैक बोर्ड वॉट विल यू कॉल अ सबूरा तू आई नो दैट मुफ्त मुफ्त ओके वेर इज द खबर अमाम जर्फ शिबु जुमला खबर एंड वॉट इज तोलिबी मुदाफिले ही मुदाफिले ही देन यू विल से व अतफ ही बिकॉज इट इज अ मोरनस मुफ्त था वॉट इज खल्फा जर्फ शिबु जुमला खबर शिबु जुमला खबर एंड वॉट इज अल मुदार ऋषि मुदाफिले सो हाउ विल यू ट्रांसलेट ट्रांसलेट Uh, the blackboard is in front of the student and it is it is behind the mudaris it is it, the blackboard is behind me okay very good aina sayaratul mudarrisi where is the car of the teacher hiya amamal madrasati hiya mubtada amam zarf shibu jumla khabar amamal madrasati it is in front of the school madrasati is mudafili aina baitul imami where is the house of imam okay where is the house of the imam baitul imami khalf al masjid okay badar baitu baitu mubtada wa huwa mudaf where is mudafili imami what is khalf zarf shibu jumla khabar are you with me Shibu Jumla Khabar, and where is what is Al Masjidi? Mudafili, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Aina Jalasa Hamidun. How will you translate? Aina Jalasa Hamidun. Where did Hamid sit? It is past tense. Where did he sit? What is the answer? Jalasa Khalfa Mahmudin. Okay, brother. What kind of a sentence is this? Jalasa. Jumla failure. Where is the verb? Jealous. Where is the file? No. Most are there. Now, brother, I tell you one thing. Verbal sentence. Huh? What is it, brother and sister? Normal sequence of the verbal sentence. What is the normal sequence, brother? Fi'alun, fa'ilun, and then it will be maf'ulun bihi. What is maf'ulun bihi? Object. Doctor Sahab. Dr. Abdul Rahim is explaining Mafulun Bihi in Book Two, Lesson Number Five. It will come in wholesale to you. It will come from left and right Mafulun Bihi. So here is the sequence. Always remember sequence. There will be a file, and file has to come after. Never before. After, file has to come after. And then, if there is a need for mafulun bihi object, it will come after. This is a normal sequence of the verbal sentence, brother. I write to you here. Zahaba Hamidun ilal 
مسجدی و رزید بعد زهب حامدون الى المسجدی where is the verb زهب where is the فعل حامدون و رزید الى المسجدی جر مجرد جر مجرد خلاص فاین now I change بعد I said حامدون زهب الى المسجدی Do you see I'm always putting Hamzatul Qata? You have to put proper Hamzatul Qata. Okay, brother. I want to test your knowledge now. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. But why? Because the noun started. Okay? The noun started the sentence, it is Jumla Ismiya. So what is Hamidun? Muftada. Very good. Okay. Now, Zahaba is verb. Sahih? Zahaba is your verb. Where is the file? Mustatir. Because file has to come afterwards. And if it is not seen in the sentence, then it is you cannot say Zahaba al Masjid, Hamid is the file. No, Hamid is Muptada. What is it? Muptada. Now, this is something that we will inshallah understand. This is very beautiful, brother. Nothing, nothing complicated. Says Salma. Now, I'm, I'm showing you something else. Huh? Are you with me? I'm showing you something else. Just the whole thing has come up, so I'm showing you. I put a line. What does the line say to you, Salma? It's Muqtada. So where is the khabar? Where is the khabar? No, what is it before Ilal? Zahaba. So if I say to you, Zahaba Ilal Masjidi, what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla failure. So where is the khabar? Jumla failure. Where is the khabar? Jumla failure. Are you with me? Yeah, there's no khabar in Jumla huh? No, the whole sentence is khabar, brother. This is something new. I didn't want to show you. I wanted to wait, but I will have to now one day show you. So, brother, if the noun starts the sentence, then it is muftada. And immediately if there is a verbal sentence, then that whole verbal sentence will become your khabar. But before I say that Jumla failure is khabar, I will do like this. My analysis will be like this. Hamidun Bhaktada. Zahaba Fial. Where is the file? Mustatir. Ilal Masjidi Jar Majur. Then I will say, says Salma, are you listening everybody? Al Jumla failure khabar. What is it? Al Jumla Failia Khabar. Are you with me? Inshallah, I'll be repeating this. Huh? And you will, inshallah, understand. Now, remember one thing. Now we revise how many types of Khabar. Khabar can be one word, it is always Marfu. Khabar can be Jar Majru, we call it Shibu Jumla. Khabar can be Zarf, we call it Shibu Jumla. And Khabar can be Jumla Failia. You will never say Hamidun as fire. No, you will never say. Huh? See, Arabic grammar is so beautiful, brother. Whether I say Zahaba Hamidun ilal masjid, or whether I said Hamidun Zahaba ilal masjid, in English translation it will be same. Hamid went to the masjid. But in Arabic grammar, there is a difference. This is Jumla. Failure. This is Jumla Ismiya. And the Jumla failure is coming as a khabar. In this, there is no need for khabar because we are only fiel and file, looking for fiel and file. But as soon as you start a Jumla with a noun, it becomes Jumla Ismiya. And there is a possibility that the khabar can be one word. There is a possibility. 
the khabar can be jar majroor. There's a possibility the khabar can be zarf. There's a possibility the khabar can be jumla failure. And there is a possibility the last kind of khabar. Guess. There is a possibility the khabar is jumla ismiya. Are you with me? Are you? No, no. I mean, do you uh, at least understand me what I said? That the khabar can be jumla ismiya. Okay? But jumla ismiya, when it becomes a khabar, it becomes, it comes like a hard chickpeas. So we will wait. Let's put it on a, uh, 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 on a stove so that the peas get a little soft. And when they get soft, we will try to understand it. Are you with me? We will understand it. And it is all in the Quran, brother. It's in the Quran. Everything is in the Quran. Whatever we are learning, this course is based, uh, okay, uh, it course is designed, this course is designed to make us understand Quran. Huh? And you will speak also. When you will know this, you will, some of you will speak much quickly than others. Okay? But the foremost objective is the understanding of Quran. So here we come back, brother. Zahaba Hamidun ilal masjidi. And remember the sequence of verbal centers? Fial. Remember that. And then, file. And then, there could be a mafulun bihi. Are you with me? But, you know, it will always be in that sequence. So, file has to come after fial. Okay? And if you don't see the file, then what is the possibility? It is mustatir. Especially if the verb is huwa and hiya. If the verb is huwa and hiya, Okay, now I give you another sentence. Since I have, I have done this, let me give you one more sentence. Okay. Zahabat. Aminatu. Okay, brother. And wherever she went, whether she went to Yorkdale or she went to a flea market, I don't know. She went somewhere. Ila dot dot dot. Okay, brother and sister? Ila dot dot dot. She went somewhere. Okay? Okay, brother. What kind of a sentence is this? Verbal. Verbal. Analyze it. Where is the verb? Zahaba. And what is next? Tautanisi. Where is the file? Tautanisi. Aminatu. Aminatu is the file. But this is, it's not mustadir. Never ever say tau tanisi. I got a very weak heart. I'll get heart today. No tau, it's tau tanisi, it's tau tanisi. What is tau tanisi? It tells you the door of the action was a sister. Okay? So, brother, zahaba, fiel, tau tanisi. And then, file. Are you with me? Now I'm changing the... Okay. Aminatu. Zahabat. Ela. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know where she went. She went to Yorkdale. Maybe she went to Fairview Mall. Or maybe she went to Eaton Center. We'll ask her when she comes back. Okay. Now what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. Very good. What is aminatu? Mubtada. Okay, brother, we need a khabar. Where is the khabar? Jumla failure has come as a khabar. So then we will analyze it. What we will say, Sister Salma? We will say aminatu mubtada. Huh? Zahaba, zahaba fial. Tau tanisi. Then I have to say file. Where is the file? Mostatir. Because I have to look from here onwards. Are you with me? Fiel, file, that is the sequence. So if Zahaba is a fiel, 
Tawthani see, where is the file? If I don't see it in the sentence, then it is mustatir. Are you with me? I cannot write aminatu, zahabat aminatu. It won't sound nice. So aminatu mubtada, zahabat, in that, the damir, hiya, remember, damir hiya goes to amina. Are you with me? Okay, there is a file is mustatir. Okay, brother? File mustatir. File is mustatir. Okay, but file is always a damir. If it is a mustatir, it is a damir. So what kind of a damir is here? Here. Yeah. Huh? Remember, in here, it is huwa. In here, it is here. Okay? Now where does here go to? Amina pe jati hai. Because the damir must go somewhere. And we have to figure out where does the damir go to. Okay? We will learn about all these things. It's in English it is called antecedent. Antecedent. Okay? Antecedent. Like a, 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 a pronoun must go from where? For the noun which it represents. Are you with me? Fine. So, Aminatu Jumla Ismiya. Mubtada. And then I describe this. Zahaba Fial Tautanisi File Mustatir Ila something Jar Majru. Then I will say Jumla Felia Khabar. Are you with me? Brother, we will be doing so many of them that, trust me, you will all become expert. If you will devote your time for the next seven months, after seven months, brother, you will achieve something that will surprise you. It will change your life. Because now you will understand the Quran, most of it. Okay? So this is it. So, we go to number four again. Aina jalasa hamidun. Aina jalasa hamidun. Jalasa khalfa mahmudin. Okay, what is jalasa? Fial. Where is the file? Mostatel. Hidden. What is the damir? Huwa. Are you with me? And then khalfa is zarf. And Mahmudin is Mudafile. I do not have to say any more because we are not talking about Khabar. If not Jumla Ismiya. Now look at the next sentence. Now next sentence clearly explains you everything. Zahaba Ammarun. What is Zahaba? Fial. Jumla Felia. Fial. Where is the file? Ammarun. Ilal Masjidi. Char Majroor. Fine. Wow. Ataf. What is now jalasa? Fial. Where is the file? Mustatir. See, now it is mustatir. It has to be mustatir. Because if you again say jalasa ammarun, it's too much repetition. But jalasa and he said, how will you translate? He said, amamal mirhabi. In front of the mirhab. Amama zarf mirhab mudafili. So I will translate. Ammar went to the masjid and he said, huh? I will say he said in English, huh? I will use the pronoun, but in Arabic that he is inside the world. Mustatir, huh? huh? we say huwa. Huh? Actually we say, Sister Manas, we say, damirun mustatirun taqdiruhu huwa. His estimation is huwa. But it is too early, I will be inshallah, Telling you and explaining you more and more. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now I still want to continue and show you something different. Huh? I want you to go to page number 10. I hope I remember the proper page. Handout. Handout should be handy. Page number 10. Is it page number 10? Yes. Bus. Page number 10. Now remember brother, so far when I show you my hand, we practice pronouns. What are those pronouns in Arabic? 
Damirun Munfasilun. What are they? Munfasilun. They always come on their own and they come in the beginning. Okay, are you with me? Hua Huma Hum Hia Huma Hunna Anta Antuma Antum Anti Antuma Antunna Ana Nahnu. So these are the Damair pronouns, we call it Munfasilun, detached. Huh? And they are always marfu. And they will come most of the time as a muptida. Ana mudarisun. Anti talibatun. Anta talibun. Antum tulabun. Are you with me? Nahnu muslimuna. Are you with me? Nahnu muslimuna. Ana muslimun. Anti muslimatun. Anta muslimatun. Antum muslimuna. Antum muslimun. Are you with me? So they always come as a muqtada. And they are always marfu. Okay? Now, how do I make them mansu and majroor? They take a different form. Huh? And can you see? Column number two. From your right, brothers and sisters. From your right, do you see column number two? What do you see there? Who? Huma? Hum, ha, huma, hunna, ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna, ya mutakallim. And then, na. That is called ya mutakallim. Huh? That ya with a sukun. Now, brothers and sisters, if I say, Kitabu Muhammadin. What is it, brother? Mudaf, mudaf What is the translation? Book of Muhammad. Now, I want to say his book. Book of his. Then I will say, Kitabu, Kitabu, who? Okay. What kind of a, This is a compound. There are two words. Kitabu and who. What kind of a compound is this? <coughs> Kitabu Muhammadin was mudaf mudafili. So what kind of a compound is this? <coughs> mudaf mudafili. What is it? <coughs> what is the translation? If I use of? <coughs> Book of his. Are you? Book of mine. Book of her. Okay, we can use that, but we say his book. Okay, so kitabuhu is mudaf mudafilehi. What is it? Mudaf mudafilehi. Huh? So in other words, let us come to the rule. Are you with me? If the damir is attached to the noun, what did I say, Brother Salman? If the damir is attached with the noun, the result is mudaf mudafilehi. What is the result? Mudaf mudafilehi. Are you with me? It's very easy. Brother, if the damir is attached to the noun, the result is? If the damir is attached to harf jar, the result will be? No, I said harf jar, brother. Are you with me? So we are learning something very beautiful. If the Damir gets attached to Harfchar, so it becomes Charmachiru. If the Damir is attached to the noun, it becomes Muda Mudafili. Okay, brothers and sisters. So this is Kitab Buhu. Now I say Min. Min and I say Al Kita B. Together, Min Al Kita B. Now I want to remove Kita B and say who. So what will I say? How many times you have read this in the Quran? Min Hum, Min Huma, Min Minha, 
minna. So, what is this now, brothers and sisters? Jar bajru. What is this? What is this? Char bajru. What is this? Mudaf mudafili. What is this? Mudaf mudafili. So, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is when the damir is attached to the noun. Abadasan, when the damir is attached to the noun, what is the result? Mudafili. When the damir is attached to harf jar, what is the result? Jar majru. Khalas, brother. Are you with me? That's it. Okay. So there are 14 pronouns. How do I do now, brother and sisters? Uh, look at the page. Uh, kitabuhu. And then, Kitabuhuma. Kitabuhum. Then, Kitabuha. Kitabuhuma. Kitabuhunna. Next one. Kitabuka. What is the meaning of Kitabuka? Your book. Book of yours. Book of yours. Kitabuka. Then, Kitabu Kuma. Kun. Kuma. Kitabu Kum. Now we come to feminine. Kitabu Ki. Kitabu Ki. Kitabu Ki. Fine. What is Kitabu Ki? Your book. We are telling, you are telling to the sister. Kitabu Ki. And then, Kitabu Kuma. And then, Kitabu Kunna. And then, my book. What did you do? Ya Mutakalam. No, what happened with Ya Mutakalam? Look at this, brother. What is this? Mudaf. And what is this? Mudafilihi. When you attach Ya Mutakalam, what did it do? It brought it down. It became Kitabi. But to me, it is still Kitabu. Because it is Mudaf. Huh? And Ya Mutakalam brought it down. Kitabi. How will you say? Our book, Kitabuna. Huh? See in the Quran you say Rabbuna or Rabbana. Okay? What is Rabbana and Rabbuna? Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. What, are you, what is it? Rab, mudaf ilahi. Huh? Rab, huh? Rabbuna is Mudaf ilahi. Huh? See that ayah, you know, Inna al-lazina kalu Rabbuna Allah. Huh? Rabbuna Allah. Okay? If I write down Rabbun Allahu, brothers and sisters, Rabbun Allahu. Now, what kind of a sentence is this? Huh? No, it is Jumla Ismiya. Where is Mubtada? Rabbu. Not Na. Rabbu. What is Rabbu? Muda. Mubtada. And then, Huwa Muda. And where is Muda Filehi? Na. Oh, where is the khabar? Allah. See, this is the way we will understand. Huh? 